you know, progress is good. Uh, patient seems to have made a full recovery uh, with no ill effects that we're aware of. Um, and um, is able to control the mouse, move the mouse around the screen just by thinking. Leading the 2024 technology revolution, Neuralink has officially succeeded with its first patient enabling mouse computer control just by thinking alongside remarkable recovery just days after invasion. Musk's confirmation of the promising nerve spike discovery earlier seemed a positive sign to unlock a range of high-end possibilities this patient could achieve. Most optimistically, communication. Telepathy is what the masses await, and Musk deserves a Nobel Prize as it stands ready to revolutionize a patient's life. So, what has Elon Musk shared about the latest condition of the first patient? Welcome to Tesla Car World. We humbly ask that you please show your support by subscribing and ringing that bell. Now, let's get started with today's content. Specifically, during the Spaces call on X with Catherine Brodsky, a renowned writer and journalist, Elon Musk shared updates about Neuralink's first patient and their experience with the N1 chip. Although Musk didn't mention the identity of the first patient, it's undoubtedly a patient over 22 years old who had quadriplegia due to a spinal cord injury or a condition like amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, or even Lou Gehrig's disease. Elon Musk shared that the first human Neuralink patient seems to have made a full recovery with no ill effects and is able to control the mouse and screen just by thinking. Previously, just one day after this patient had completed the implantation, Musk couldn't contain his excitement as he shared on X, the first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. This announcement has sparked a wave of positive support for the technology, even though its effectiveness has yet to be fully validated because what most people are concerned about is safety throughout the implantation process. Not stopping there, Musk also confirmed that there's been no reported side effects since the day of implantation. Although it's still relatively early to draw overall conclusions about whether the N1 chip will have any future impacts, everything is currently very promising and trustworthy. Talking about someone being able to control a computer mouse with their thoughts is the dreams of millions of quadriplegic patients out there. According to the theory behind how this capability works, to control the computer mouse, this patient would use their thoughts to activate 1,024 electrodes within 64 threads on the implanted N1 chip at designated points. These over 1,000 electrodes would record brain signals and transmit them to a computer, where they would be decoded to mouse control commands. If you're concerned about safety throughout the implantation process, the patients are monitored by a team of specialized doctors that Musk has meticulously selected over the years. Combined with a continuously improved surgical robot R1, this robot allows for the precise placement of electrodes in the least painful and most accurate locations on the brain. As the company said last October on X, the tip is only 10 to 12 microns in width, only slightly larger than the diameter of a red blood cell. The small size allows threads to be inserted with minimal damage to the cortex. Compared to other BCIs, Neuralink is considered the safest option currently available, not only because of its minimally invasive nature, but also because the N1 chip is more resistant to rejection due to its material and size, which is roughly a quarter the size making it small enough to have a significant impact on the brain. Unlike other chips that are attached to bundles of wires causing discomfort and inconvenience, the N1 implant is powered by a small battery charged wirelessly from outside via a compact inductive charger that enables easy use from anywhere, the company says on its website. As he announced the human implant surgery, Musk said his company's implant product would be called telepathy enables control of your phone or computer, and through then almost any device, just by thinking, he tweeted Monday evening. And also users will be those who have lost use of their limbs, he said. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could communicate faster than a speed typist or auctioneer. That's the goal. As previously announced, the main research period will last for 18 months, completing with regular direct clinical and at-home checkups, as well as frequent brain-computer interface research sessions. Following that, a five-year monitoring period will include 20 additional years of clinic visits. During this stage, the patient is undoubtedly still undergoing recovery at Neuralink's secretive facility under strict 24-hour surveillance by a rotating team. Neglecting this patient would not only render all efforts futile, but could also potentially damage Neuralink's credibility irreparably. 
Although the ability to move a computer mouse with thoughts is still limited, according to what Musk has revealed, Neuralink has the potential to go even further. Nevertheless, ultimately, this is a significant step in the development of BCI. In the latest updates, Musk also added that Neuralink is constantly monitoring the patient's use of the N1 brain implant device. The patient's current task is to click on the mouse button as often as possible. Recall that earlier, Musk mentioned that his desire for one day is to use the N1 to provide energy for prosthetic limbs to fully function for amputees, produced with the expertise of Tesla. However, Musk's goal is to start by curing quadriplegia before moving on to restoring vision for the blind using Neuralink's first product, which he named telepathy. The success of Neuralink's first human trials demonstrates the potential of the company's N1 brain implant device, along with its wireless computer interface and the company's surgical robot R1. The company, led by Musk, still has a long way to go before Neuralink's technology is proven safe for the public. However, Musk's updates on Neuralink's first patient are promising. How controlling a computer mouse just by thinking will change the lives of Neuralink patients. On the day when the first Neuralink patient successfully controls a computer mouse cursor with their thoughts, the door to a BCI revolution seems to have opened, welcoming a range of possibilities that this patient may achieve. Through their ability to control the mouse cursor with their thoughts in subsequent stages, patients may be able to smoothly and naturally manipulate commands on the computer screen, similar to or even faster than how they use a regular mouse by hand. Left or right clicking is no longer an issue, as they simply need to focus on the target or use specific brain signals. By scrolling the mouse through thought, navigating web pages and zooming in and out becomes easier than ever, simply by controlling the cursor in different directions. The next step is text input. Using a virtual keyboard controlled by thought, patients can input text quickly and accurately. Automatic completion from suggestions based on contextual keyboards help them write faster and more efficiently than ever before. Even spelling correction and text formatting become simple with the power of thought. These are basic abilities that this patient fully achieves within the next few months as they become accustomed to how Neuralink receives signals. It's not just about controlling computers anymore. Patients using Neuralink also have the ability to control a variety of other devices, from speakers and headphones to smartphones, simply by thought. The blend of hand gestures and mental cognition makes it easier and more convenient for them to control smart home devices. Can they really communicate with Neuralink? More anticipated than ever is the ability for Neuralink users to communicate with others without hindrance. They can engage in online conversations through a virtual keyboard or activate AI voice after completing the text. Furthermore, they have the ability to directly share their thoughts and ideas with others through an advanced BCI interface. This opens up a new door for communication and interaction between individuals, transcending barriers of both language and physical ability. And when it comes to entertainment, nothing is impossible. Neuralink patients can play electronic games by using their thoughts to control characters and actions within the game. They can watch movies, listen to music, and enjoy all other forms of entertainment by controlling the interface with their thoughts. Moreover, they can even engage in creative activities such as drawing, composing music, and writing poetry through BCI. If you find this notion absurd, remember Pager, a monkey who became the center of attention when implanted with an N1 link chip into his brain to record neural activity? After collecting sufficient data, Neuralink was able to control a cursor in the game Pong just by Pager's thoughts. The video of Pager playing Pong with his mind caused a sensation on the internet back in April 2023, demonstrating the progress of thought control technology. With Neuralink, limits only exist in imagination. Humanity has stepped into a marvelous future where the power of thought becomes a reality, opening up a whole new world of potential and exploration. An even crazier advancement is when this Neuralink patient receives the maximum level of sensitivity in operating smartphones linked to a myriad of electronic devices within their home. Secondly, the pinnacle is the upcoming release of the Tesla Optimus next year. So perhaps the vegetative life will not be as hopeless as we once knew it to be. Neuralink has immense potential to improve the lives of patients in a vegetative state. With the ability to sense and operate smartphones, patients can adjust temperature, lighting, sound, and other electronics in their home just by using their thinking. With Tesla Optimus going on sale next year in 2025, Neuralink's capabilities will be expanded even further. 
Optimus is a humanoid robot that can perform a variety of tasks in the home, such as cleaning the house, cooking, doing laundry, and caring for the elderly or disabled. So if these two technologies are successfully linked, is a Nobel Prize in technology ready to go for Elon Musk? This means that patients in a vegetative state could receive assistance in daily activities as optimists can help them with eating, bathing, changing clothes, and moving around, participating in social activities. Optimists can take them for walks, take them out to meet friends, and engage in other community activities, achieving greater independence because optimists can help them perform their daily tasks and reduce their dependence on others. How will Neuralink restore patients' visions if it reaches its peak in the future? In the future, besides linking anyone's brains to their smartphones, Musk also declared that Neuralink's computer brain interface could be used to restore vision for the blind and mobility for paralyzed individuals. Elon Musk, CEO of Neuralink, expressed optimism about the potential of the first version of Neuralink to achieve this. The idea involves implanting the N1 chip from Neuralink, which picks up neural activation signals in the cerebral cortex and converts these signals into digital images. Digital images are transmitted directly from the camera into the brain, stimulating neural responses to create visual input. The process has been likened to an old Atari video game, where low-resolution black and white images could be created. More specifically for you to understand, the N1 chip will be implanted by the R1 robot as usual in blind patients. After recovery time, the chip of the brain will communicate with 64 small wires and 1,024 sensitive electrodes. Next, the patient may be required to wear a GoPro-style digital camera, which wirelessly transmits a live image feed via Bluetooth to the mobile device. The phone then converts that image data into neurosignals, which are implanted back into the neural chip. The chip then transmits this nerve signal into the brain, allowing you to gain vision. Cool. How can the Neuralink chip be used to treat spinal cord injuries? In a typically functioning nervous system, brain signals are intended to perform a specific action, taking specific neural pathways called descending motor pathways. These ultimately supply the muscles with nerves or innervate them and force the intended muscle action. However, any injury results in the loss or impairment of these normal motor functions. Injuries can occur and cause disruption at any point of the nervous system, be it the level of moda and somatosensory cortex where these brain signals are generated at any level, the descending motor pathways, or at the level of peripheral nerves. For example, a patient with a spinal cord injury, the brain function is normal, and these brain signals are being generated normally. However, at the level of injury, a great majority of the signals are either lost, resulting in loss of function below the level of injury, or become abnormal signals producing abnormal, unnecessary, or random movements, known as spasticity. Neuralink has immense potential in treating and improving many central nervous system injuries, such as traumatic brain injuries, stroke, and spinal cord injuries. Due to their ability to effectively redirect brain signals, they can help to overcome breaks in the body's natural circuits. In the instance of spinal cord injury, for example, there's usually a severe blockage of these brain signals at the level of injury. This results in an inability to produce or control movements below injury level. Chip N1 has the potential to read these brain signals and then divert them to an external computer. The computer is then able to generate an appropriate action which is transmitted to a receiver implanted below the level of injury. This allows the signals to bypass the level of injury and be picked up and delivered to the relevant areas of the body below the injury, generating functions. In the end, beyond supporting individuals with disabilities, Neuralink could integrate our brains with AI systems, enhancing cognitive abilities. Elon Musk envisions Neuralink playing a role in minimizing AI risks and advancing civilization by significantly improving the bandwidth between humans and AI, as well as between humans themselves. This connection could empower our brains to perform tasks at the speed of AI systems. He declares that soon, all of us will have the capability and knowledge of powerful AI systems within our brain, enabling us to solve complex problems in seconds, which could usher humanity into a new era of development. In reality, the Neuralink brain chip is a more complex version of BCI with some significant differences, primarily revolving around signal recording methods. In the typical brain-computer interface, or BCI, small recording electrodes responsible for capturing brain activity are placed on the skull. This inevitably leads to significant signal distortion. Hacking neural implants or unauthorized access to thoughts poses serious threats, potentially impacting the criminal justice system and individuals' privacy rights. 
What would happen if neural implants were hacked or if law enforcement could access everyone's thoughts without consent? This raises intriguing questions. For instance, would you imprison someone for thinking about committing a crime even before they did it? This scenario is directly drawn from a blockbuster movie, Minority Report, starring Tom Cruise, but it could become a reality with Neuralink. While these capabilities offer a glimpse into a noteworthy future, there are still many ethical concerns. Safety is paramount, especially to achieve Neuralink's goal of integrating AI systems into the brain. Brain-computer interface companies like Neuralink should prioritize transparency and safe data sharing. As this technology advances, relevant norms and regulations need updates. We'll need new privacy laws, digital security frameworks, and human rights protections to ensure responsible enforcement. The advancements being made by Neuralink hold exciting potential, especially for spinal cord injuries, traumatic brain injuries, and stroke patients. Currently undergoing clinical trials, these advancements still have much more to prove for long-term success. But they're showing promise in the field of neural regulation. How do you feel about Neuralink's latest updates, and what do you look forward to most about this technology if it really makes its way into the future? We want to hear from you, and we hope you had the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.